Well, if you need to make a trip to the DMV, you'll need to plan months in advance, or you could find yourself standing outside for a while. Two Works for You's Katie Kelleher discovered that many are waiting hours to get in, and appointments are not so easy to come by. It's before 5 a.m. on a cold and windy January morning, and nearly a dozen people stand outside the Tulsa Eastgate DMV, some coming prepared with blankets and chairs, waiting. It said to get here at 315, otherwise you got a long wait. It's going to be a long day. These drivers don't have appointments, but that's not for a lack of trying. I even tried to go online and do an appointment, and they, the closest one was August 13th. Um, down in Muskogee. The Department of Public Safety says the lines aren't only happening here at the Tulsa Eastgate DMV, but at DMVs across the state. They're currently booking appointments 60 days out with new appointments coming online each night at 6 p.m. COVID, budget cuts, and real ID all contributing to the backlog. It kind of just created the perfect storm for us. And so we're trying to do the best we can and thinking outside of the box and trying to service as many people as we can, but we're bound by the money and the resources that we have right now. DPS says it's used CARES Act funds to open some locations on Saturdays for CDL drivers and is looking at other ways to provide more services. But in the meantime, they suggest making sure you know when your license is expiring and renewing it online if you can. And for others, like teens getting their learner's permit or license, make sure to schedule months in advance so you don't have to wait outside. We know there are long lines out there. We're working on it daily and um, just ask for your patience right now. You know, we're all trying to catch up from the pandemic and everything else that's going on and um, we're working hard. We just want people to know we're, we're aware and we hear their frustrations. DPS says walk-ins are welcome at certain locations, but those with appointments will go first. For walk-in locations, visit our website, kgrh.com. In Tulsa, Katie Kelleher, Two Works For You.